I called this doctor and said, so I'm writing a script. It, what drug is there that you could inject someone with and they wouldn't be able to move but they can still feel pain? Yeah. And this doctor's like, what's this for? <laughs> and I'm like, it's for a script I'm writing. And he's like, right. <laughs> and doing the pitch and just in the middle of it as he's listening, he's like, his blinks start getting longer. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> And to wake him up, I would go, and then bang! We wait, and he would, and he would literally go. Mm. <laughs> I see. Tell us about the influence of The Exorcist. The ex. Just when you said that, I don't know if the audio picked it up. There was a thunder crack. Satan's in the room. <laughs> run, run for your lives. We're with you. Yes. He likes I, you. We're okay. No, no, I don't think he does. <laughs> I don't think he does. We give I think they had photos of Carrie with a tennis racket and a donkey, <laughs> and he was like. Uh, I gotta do this movie. These guys are gonna go wide with this on the internet. <laughs> and, and Carrie, and I, I walked into the makeup room, and Carrie's furiously retyping these lines, doing his British thing, just going, I, 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 he's got these lines, Ian. Like, trying to, but he's serious, man. Hey, hey, come on. Hey, man, relax. Hey, 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 chill, man. Don't, don't get too friendly. I actually had a woman come up to me in Atlanta and say, uh, Do you realize that the hand you put in the toilet was your smoking hand? <laughs> <laughs> We're like really militant, like You're not gonna take a fucking film away from us, man! <laughs> <laughs> you can stop shooting, bitch! I'm dead! These guys are just like every now and then they're like Uh-huh. As they're queuing up the CD and they're like, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well thanks for coming in guys and actually saw you with her in the corner one day, Carrie, and and I was like isn't that sweet? Carrie, the you know, the more mature, more experienced actor is 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 giving Mackenzie advice. And when I got closer, I heard you say, How do you do it? <laughs> what is it you're doing? I got to know. I've got a crying scene coming up. Here's the, here's the <laughs> the saw doll, I remember at first thinking, I don't know about that, but then of course now the doll is the highest paid actor in the film. It's the rules. <laughs> I love that. It's the rules. It's no, I mean, the that rules. Could be the tag. That is a frightening S sort of... Spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Yeah, okay. to me that is somebody who clearly enjoys torturing birds and is about to crush that thing. So you guys like big shots now? I um, would say to you there's obviously room for improvement, but you... You know, if you keep going the way you're going, you'll be a fine actor. Thank you. One day. <laughs> it's the only horror film ever nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. You like that? I'm oh, sorry, I'm looking the wrong direction. <laughs> Congratulations, sir. You've won a holiday to Vanuatu. The first thing you say isn't, woohoo, you go, what's this about? <laughs> no, 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 no. I've seen, you know, what's the fucking timeshare thing? Like, what do you want from me? I've seen my dad do it. He's on the phone for half an hour going, no, but mate, what do you want? <laughs> I didn't feel uncomfortable at all when you started tearing pages out and saying, this, <laughs> this is crap. rubbish. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Now you're talking. That's how, you, that's how we want to do this whole interview, man. Mimicking what you were saying. Like, really? you would say, give me the tape. And I'd go, give me the tape. <laughs> and you would just start laughing. <laughs> and Doc... Au revoir. See how that was better than just bye? It was French. Au revoir, monsieur. <laughs> if you're a girl. If you're a girl. I just got rewritten. Uh, instead of the cops saying, Don't bloody move. They had to say, Freeze, asshole, or I'll blow your head off. We'll write, it, we'll write something even cheaper than two guys locked in a toilet. <laughs> Maybe one guy locked in a toilet. Or just a half a guy. Just his, just his head on the floor. <laughs> it doesn't look scary at all. But you forget the magic of editing and sound effects and music and everything that can turn something that looks comical into something quite scary. THR, our favourite acronym. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. Zombies out there, man. They're everywhere. Okay. That line, when you said, he's a bottom feeder just like you, I went, he's a bottom feeder just like me, and repeated <laughs> what she said. And I'll wake up in the middle of the night and go, a, a movie! <laughs> they made a movie out of our script. <laughs> Now it's a good beach to make the movie on! <laughs> Zap! You bastard! <laughs> I'm gonna see you pay for this! You bastard fuck! That's my favorite line. He's like, he's like, he's like, it's perfect. It's exactly the way he would build it. Like, the victim wouldn't even be able to get the fa his face out of it because of the spikes I've put on here. And I'm like, we're not using it, Stuart, but it's a prop. <laughs> Like, I, I need to be able to take this off without harming myself, and, he's, and you just can't hear you, he's like... 
This guy was a great actor to work with. Amazing. Just a professional on set and off. I mean, a great human, a philanthropist, a superhero, really. Lee Winnell. <laughs> That's me. Can someone dial 911? Is just to have them here? It's not to say that she's going to go to hospital, but just to have them nearby. Uh, they make me look like Washout, John Cryer's character from Hot Shots. Are they real? Like, you have What's that? <laughs> you said that this was one of the intern, your interns that you were cheating with, and then I said, yeah, but who's the character? In the <laughs> it was. Okay, very good. <laughs> so I know that sometimes the sophisticated here Aussie humour flies right uh, over your British truth, head, Gary. Truth. Mind if I get in? <laughs> How do they dog? We can't go. The zombies are out there. The zombies are out there. I'm standing not five meters from where the bomb exploded. Murder, mayhem, people running in all directions. Once again, the fruit of peace has become the jam of war. Kerry was just great. I mean, he's a great, he's just a consummate British gentleman. He's, <laughs> he's like the most British person I've ever met in his attitude. You could slap him full pelt across the face as hard as you could, and he's like, I have to disagree with that. That <laughs> was unnecessary, and it hurt a lot. Burst up out of the water and go, Jesus Christ, like the crocodile hunter. And uh, and I went, oh no. Is it okay if I call you Juan? Because it's really hard to... I would <laughs> love that. I'm just I would actually totally... feel sexy if someone called me Juan. I would feel kind of... Probably along the lines with, I've got a lampshade on my head, or something stupid like that. Good Lord. You see how creepy this guy is? See, that's creepy. Right now, whoever's watching this interview just got creeped out. I could have easily come back as a different character. Adam's twin brother. Jeff. <laughs> Maybe Bruce. Do you want to act? <laughs> it was literally like... Uh-huh. Yeah. And, and he's like, you want to direct? And James is like, pretty, pretty much. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and, and he's like, well, let's make a... He literally said these words. You got... Like, I'm acting this and you guys are laughing. He's like, well, let's make a movie, man. Because <laughs> uh, that was a really That's the love scene. That was the love scene. No. <laughs> Can I ask you, Kerry, if I had opted to sleep in the bathroom every night, would you have done the same just to be my brother in method acting? Not a chance. Okay. So now he provides the brain. Yeah, yeah. I provide the look. Yeah, he's the, the look. team. He's the look. Look at this hair. I mean, that is, that's A+. <laughs> <laughs> are you getting this? There's a camera. There's a lot of heat coming. Kerry's character, Dr. Gordon, he had it scripted that he said, um, he said, uh, listen, pal, because he's Chinese, he said, uh, why don't you go do my laundry, pal? <laughs> to which Ken had written his character's response as, you're the one who needs to come clean. I'm afraid Dr. Gordon's time is up, and I'm afraid it has to be you that tells him he's failed. So, I mean, so we went out with a doll that was very specifically designed to really uh, When he says specific, shot. he means made in his room with like ping pong balls. <laughs> real film. That sounds like it's a real movie. Is, uh... <laughs> you know, you, know you, you have this impression of Australians as happy and, and, and you know, well-adjusted. I'm miserable and just evil. Fun! It's a fun movie! Come on, step aside. Put the screen right no. I've always thought that moment with Kerry was a slip into reality where Kerry goes, STOP ACTING! <laughs> <laughs> I had to bring it over from Australia. I've never wanted a customs guy to open my suitcase more in my life. <laughs> Just see this doll, like. In his job, I'm doing my job, so that's good. Cool. I'm very respectful. <laughs> I never say, but that close-up of me is way better. <laughs> Never.